Ruben Amaro is live at our studio in Secaucus, New Jersey. He joins me now. Ruben, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. We had Steve Phillips on the program just a few moments ago talking about some of the teams that are obviously pretenders and will likely be selling. But I want to talk to you, Ruben, about the contenders. So let's talk about the Braves. They've already made a move for some relievers. What else does the do the Braves need to do the best team so far in 2023. Yeah, great to be with you Alana and uh, Alex Anthopoulos has done a great job of already doing the heavy lifting. He's got that club uh, <laughs> moving on all cylinders right now but I think he's been uh, very good at, at tweaking and and one of the things that I've noticed over the years that uh, a, a good friend of mine and, and a Hall of Famer Pat Gillick has done and now Alex Anthopoulos does it uh, very very well is just tweaking little pieces. I do believe that Alex is probably going to be look, looking for more or bullpen help and he may be looking for like a situational type of a bullpen piece where he, whether it's a guy who gets a right hander out or a left hander out and as far as an outfielder outfielder is concerned maybe a little tweak maybe a right handed bat someone who he knows can play defensively we heard of some of the rumors about Duvall coming back for the third time I, I would not be surprised if 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 Alex does something like that but nothing really heavy because that work has already been done it's the best team in all of baseball in my opinion. Yeah, wire to wire, they really have been. So no major moves there for Alex Anthopoulos and the Atlanta Braves. Okay, the Los Angeles Dodgers, we know that Kike Hernandez is going back to the Dodgers where he spent six years. He told reporters yesterday in Boston that he was going home, Ruben. What else do the Dodgers need to do? This is the first time in a long time. Their pitching depth, particularly in their starting rotation, has been very tested. Yeah, it sure has. And and uh, there is some question about that, that rotation. I mean, typically, as I said, I mean, Atlanta is, is the team to beat, and if they want to beat Atlanta, I think they really need to hit on somebody at the top of the rotation. And I can see Andrew Freeman making that move. Again, they um, they have a great ball club, uh, and and have and they know exactly how to get it done. They've been there and done that. But they are they are there are some pieces away. I believe someone in in the top part of their rotation. I know that some question right now about their overall health. You know, they don't have Bueller. They've lost a May. I mean, there's a bunch of guys that they've lost in the rotation. That's one piece. The other piece that they have to deal with, I think, is the back end of the uh, of, of the bullpen. And I think a guy like David Bednar would be a great piece for them. And there's some question about whether or not they have somebody who can lock down uh, those last uh, those last three outs of the game. And I think David Bednar would be an excellent piece for them. If they want to beat the Braves, I think they've got to hit pitching. I think i got to hit it hard. And uh, and those would be the bigger moves that I think Andrew Friedman would have to make to to try to beat that Atlanta Braves ball club. Oh, I would love to see David Bednar in a Los Angeles Dodgers uniform in the back end of that bullpen. Do you see perhaps Ruben Dillon Cease or even a guy by the name of Shohei Otani going to Los Angeles from the White Sox and the Angels? Yeah, I do think it is a possibility. Uh, there's a, no, no question that they need a top of the rotation guy. I just don't know whether or not, as far as the Angels are concerned, whether they'll make a move uh, and, and move Otani. It, that's a very difficult thing to do for your fan base. Uh, and, and I know it would be probably the right thing for for them to do as an organization, uh, but he'd be a perfect piece for them. I do believe that the Dodgers are going to be in on Otani uh, in the offseason. One of the reasons why they kind of scaled back in the offseason, didn't make any major moves. And Dylan Cease, I mean, he's a guy under control. He's a guy that's, uh, you know, obviously a top of the rotation type of a guy. I can see them making a move for, for one of those guys as well. Uh, surely one of the guys that. Um, talent wise is there he hasn't necessarily been in the races um, which is something I think Andrew Friedman does value but uh, certainly a, a possible candidate as well. OK, the Baltimore Orioles, the top of the division. I'm not sure many of us would have predicted that coming into the season, but they've looked really great. I love what Michael Elias is doing. I love what Brandon Hyde is doing with that club. But I could also see just for a rental, perhaps not long term, I could see Otani in Baltimore. What do you think? Yeah, that's a great call on. I think of all the clubs that need a top of the rotation guy and some some power with the bat because they have a great ball club. They play excellent baseball, but Otani gives them that 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 dual threat 
the top of the rotation arm and the power that they would need, I think, to contend with some of the other clubs. I do there think that uh, at some point Toronto's going to make their move and to kind of fend them off. I think it, it's so important for them to have somebody that they know can win a baseball game as a starter. Their starting rotation, not great, been solid, not great, but with Otani, really great. And I think in, in that instance, when you're going to make a move like that, they also have the pieces do the o Orioles. And to me, it's Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday for Otani would be, to me, a perfect trade for both teams. You, you have the best prospect in all of baseball, and you have the best player in all of baseball. I like that flip. I do know that, they let, that the Angels do need pitching. I would add a piece to that as far as a starter is concerned because that's one of their big issues over the last several years is pitching. Uh, but certainly you can start that, uh, getting that, uh, that, that quality in a Jackson Holiday. That's a huge trade because Jackson Holiday is a 1-1, Ruben. You know that better than anybody, and he could very well be in the big leagues next season. So that would be that would be gigantic if uh, Jackson Holiday went to the Angels in order to get Shohei Otani in Baltimore. Okay, the Texas Rangers, right now they're dealing with injuries. Here come the red-hot Astros. A lot of people think that the Astros will end up winning the AL West. I pick Texas to win the division, but they're scuffling a little bit. What do they need? You know, I think the Rangers, uh, they have a great ball club, but they don't have, like, the experience. I do believe that they've thrown all their chips in. They did it a couple of years ago by adding those two middle infielders and throwing the big money there. And then Chris Young and others did a great job of revamping that rotation. But guess what? They've lost to Grom. They don't have – I know they have Evaldi, and he has some experience in the postseason. But there are not very many players at all in that on that roster who have really been – down the road uh, to, to try to win a pennant. And so I think that they're a team that's going to make a hard run at a top of the rotation type of a guy. I know Evaldi's there. I know he's important, but they need more. And and having lost to Grom, that's a, that's a really big move. They may be in on the Otani thing, but, but I can see them getting a guy like Cease as well. And even more importantly, I can see uh, Chris Young making a heavy run at guys like Verlander and Scherzer. Yes, it's going to be difficult uh, for Billy Epler and Steve Cohen to, you know, to wave that white flag. There's no question about that. But I think this is a great match for the Rangers because not only do, does Verlander and, and Scherzer bring the talent and the quality, but they also bring the experience at the top of the rotation and guys that have been there, done it, they own rings, and there's the, they're the type of guys that would be perfect in this rotation. Chris Young, he values and knows how important it is to have both talent and experience and to get one of those guys and to peel them away. Um, I don't think there's going to be any problem trying to peel them away, even though they have no trade clauses. These guys are looking for rings. They've got all the money. They're already taken care of. At this stage in their uh, careers, they're looking for rings, and I, I don't think they'll have any problem uh, waiving some of those no trade clauses. Yeah, looking for rings and likely both of those guys headed to Cooperstown when they are all Absolutely. said and done. Okay, I know the Mariners, Ruben, are not a contender, but I did want to ask you about the M's who are a bubble team. Right now, 51 and 50, so one game over 500. Jerry DePoto is known to make moves. What do they do? I see Jerry DePoto buying and selling. I don't think that he loves <laughs> the whole idea of, of trading and, and, and revamping and, and uh, reconfiguring. Uh, so I can see them, even though they're playing a little bit better baseball, I don't know that I see them necessarily as a contender, although, you know, they finished off the year last year very strongly. They have the talent. Um, but I, I can see them either buy, both buying and selling in some way, shape, or form. Jerry DePoto is one of those guys that uh, you almost never know. You know, when people go right, he <laughs> goes left. So you never know what he's going to do. Um, and and I, as I said, I just think that they'll probably buy and sell. Uh, I think that they're going to probably need a little bit more bat. Um, they're not getting the, the offense they, that, they, that they really want. I like their rotation a little bit. But... Uh, but you never know a Jerry, man. He'll, he'll surprise us. There's no question about that. <laughs>